This is, for example, is one step. It's made of composite wood. This item, it consists of about seven sub-items. This is the, the, the uh, what you call the plaque, <coughs> standard plaque. This is the corner piece that it will fit into the corner. This is the vertical piece, and this is the other type of plaque. This is the standard, uh, let's say, uh, composite flooring item that goes all the way. It's like it's like parquet, but this is it's called composed flooring. That is some kind of PVC material. So when I reach uh, some uh, when I reach uh, a step, uh, a level difference uh, detail, I have to go through this in order to indicate to the gentleman who will fabricate it how you are going to how you are going to build this and with what dimension. It's specified very clearly. Even here in the, in, the, in the corner piece, you can see here that uh, there is a little strip. It has to be inserted to avoid the slippery. So up to this detail, you have to go through in order to ensure the safety and security of your final product. We can move ahead to other type of uh, key plan. You can see here, key plan showing joinery work. I'm very interested to start asking some questions, but you know, uh, I'm not sure that the quality of the screen will help me. See here these codes? Multiple codes. Every code is indicating separate item that is here as individual piece of furniture. This item here is called J32. This is the counter. This is the bar counter that is serving as, you know, there's a mixer here and there's a barbecue grill here. So this, this is the bar counter, that's the outdoor bar counter. This code will take you to other drawing detailing this bar counter. But first, in order to have control on all of your project, you have to have this key plan in order to know well what items do you have, and every item it has to come with a code in order to track it properly. So, staying in general layouts, I just want to show you another example. This other example we will dive in into the multiple levels that we talk about, the drawings hierarchy. This project is Al Amal project, Al Amal Psychiatric Hospital that I had the honor to work in with China State Company. This is the key plan we talk about. This is the indication. You see that red line there? This is the main corridor of Al Amal Hospital. And why it's divided like this? Because there's no space in the page. So as simple as this. So in order to have it all in one page as a key plan, it was chopped into pieces in order to have as maximum detail as possible. We are talking about the handrail, the custom-made handrail of the uh, hospital first floor. And this very custom-made handrail, and you will see why. Because it's psychiatric, the handrail, standard handrail is like 110. This one is about two meter, and for obvious reasons, because it's a psychiatric hospital, some of the guests of the hospital might harm themselves by jumping or something. So it's, it was about two meter high. We will see how sophisticated is it, it is in the next drawings. So every standard you see, there's different company, but the same standard. You have to have your dashboard here, you have to have your key plan here, that's a must, to indicate where you are talking, and then you start having the particular detail of what you are talking about. Now, in this key plan, we are talking about little pieces, little decorative pieces inside the handrail that is, uh, that is having particular details. 
Now we will talk about this one, this small pieces with dots. We will come into this drawing, into these um, items. Let's see what are these items. <coughs> this is the handrail, or this is the overall handrail. These pieces are actually decorated units consisting of MDF panels with metal cladding, with wavy metal panels, with glass panels. All are standing on a steel structure. Now, when I say that we will go from general to detail, this is the second level of detail we are talking about. We talk about key plan, general key plan. We indicate our item. Now, this is the second level. We are talking about this particular item. This particular item it has three dimensions. We can indicate that this particular item, you go into a certain level of detail that is have three different dimensions. And this dimension was highlighted as elevation, it was highlighted as layout, and we started having some kind of details here. Like uh, some kind of section, it's, it indicates what is the thickness of the upstand of the glass that the, this glass is sitting on a box, on a wood box. And this is concrete slab, and what's the relation between the concrete slab and the upstand of the partition? Now, the second level and the final level of the detailing is this one. Okay, this is the slab, this is the flooring, and this is our upstand. This upstand, if you zoom in, you will see how it is installed into the concrete. This is anchor bolt. It's even detailed how, what, we, what material we use to fix this box into the concrete. It's not normal screw. So many people, they put like normal screw only, only as, in, uh, as an indication. No, you have to put the one with anchor bolt. There's a particular design for this. And you have to know, you have to specify the number of it. In many cases, you have to specify even the number of it, how many you need. And this, actual, this number actually is not based on guessing. Like how many put, oh, okay, 10, 15, yeah, no problem. Just be on the same side for 20, no problem. No, sir. This is a result of something called structural calculation. So it's not only a matter of like, uh, doing, doing the drawing, no. You have to be responsible for the safety of what you are executing. So there's some kind of structural calculation to secure that your product is safe and secure. What's the relation between this handrail and the cladding below it? There's a particular relation here. So this relation has to be respected on site. I do it this way, and I want to construct it this way. So there's no deviation from this. So you give to the, uh, you give to the carpenter, you tell him, Mr. Carpenter, I want you to build this one for me this way. Mr. Welder, steel worker, you have to do it. You have to do your construction for me this way. Of course, on site there will be some issues, and then you take you, you, you check the site conditions and you act based on it. You might need to revise some drawing. You need you might need to re, uh, redesign some items. But as general, this is how we are going to build it. 